So here we're setting the piston thrust or piston end play on a Silver Ghost engine. The front block has been put on and the pistons have all been put into place, of course, making sure that we have some stops to prevent the piston rings from going into the combustion chamber and snapping, locking the piston in. We're able to turn the engine over. There's no drag at all. Everything is moving very nicely. So we'll turn this over and now we'll centralize our rod on the first piston. And what we're looking for is movement of this rod on the piston and you can see this going back and forth. On a Rolls-Royce, unlike virtually any other car, the piston end play is set in, or the rod end play is set in the piston, not down on the crankshaft. And for anyone who tries to do it the other way around, woe betide your, uh, your engine rebuild. So what we've done is earlier measured to know that we have about 25 thousandths of end-to-end -end movement. That will be set with what are called arbor shims up around the end of the rod and surrounding the piston pin or gudgeon pin. In this case, we're also looking at the float on the rod would centralize better if we put the shim only in the front rather than two thin shims. We can use one thicker one just at the front. In this case, we have 25 thousandths end play. We want to take it down to between five and 10 thousandths. So this would let us use one 20 thousandths shim at the front. If we look at this one, a second one here, the end play is fairly similar, but if you look at the position of the rod on its pin, it would be better to use two ten thousandths shims, one front and one back. And that centralizes the rod ideally up into the pin. Remember there should be no contact between the cheek of the bearing and the cheek of the uh, crankshaft up near the pin. Each one of these gets done once we've got our measurements and know what shims to use on our notes. The rods come off again, the block comes off again. We'll put the shims in and then put it all back together on a final assembly and then give it one more final check to make sure things move smoothly. You'll note there's no drag even with pistons in, it moves very freely. If you've got any tight spots here, you've got a bearing issue, and properly lined board engine should never have problems like that.